Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Coops Outdoors. Today, me and Miss Donna's come out here to Jekyll Jetty's. And we'll go see if we can snag us a sheephead. We got here a little bit too late. Tide's already almost too high. And had some issues at home. I done had the boat hooked up, ready to roll, and my water shut off at the house, so I had to get that fixed. A couple of trips to Home Depot. And we finally making it out here but like I say we got here a little late but we're gonna try it anyway just getting settled in winds already up kind of high tides high but we're getting settled in and uh, see if we can make something happen and then all of a sudden out of nowhere this happens yep DNR shows up come sneaking in behind us uh, Checking our boat out, making sure we had our cushions and our throw and, and uh, fire extinguishers, etc., etc. Check the license. Everything checked out good. But we had a good little chat. Uh, they were friendly enough. Checked my license. They forgot to check Miss Donna's license. So everything looks good. Uh, appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. So we can turn out here now. I'm gonna get started, get settled in, and see if we can catch a sheephead. And it don't take too long before Miss Donna ties into one. Nice sheep head. We're using fiddlers for bait. You can see them there in that bucket. I went out and caught them last night. Just using a one alt straight shank hook and uh, about three eighths ounce slip sinker using a swivel. Miss Donna's using braided line on her pole and I just got about a, probably a four inch monofilament leader and a live fiddler. Keep it right on the bottom, just pick it up a foot, drop it back down. Try to keep it down in them rocks as best you can without getting hung. There's another nice sheep head. This is actually my favorite fish to eat. You see that green coloration on that fish? That means he's just coming in out of the ocean, hasn't been in shore too long. They'll get real silvery. All that green will be gone after they stay in here a while. It's a real subtle bite. A lot of people say you have to set the hook before they even bite it, but you can actually feel them. If that current's moving pretty good, they'll, you'll feel a little tug. Another good solid fish here. Just doing this voiceover because the audio on this video was horrible. That wind was so hard and strong. A lot of the language you couldn't even decipher what I was trying to say. So instead of aggravating with that noise, I just decided to talk over it. This is another nice sheep head. This is some good eating fish. If you've never had one, you really need to try one. You can 
see how hard that water's running, that wind blowing. And this Minn Kota Tarova is holding us right in place. Very impressive, that spot lock. It'll anchor you down. But the wind conditions and the tide conditions are just deteriorating, so we're gonna call it a day. We actually caught six fish, I think, that we brought home. But we had a good day. Fishing out off of Jekyll Island. It's Jekyll Island in the background. But I tell you what, we're coming back. We're going to uh, seal it in their bridge there, by the way. Our landing is right there. We got to cross this water, so we fixing to go. But if y'all enjoyed this content, I hope y'all subscribe. Hit that notification bell when the next video comes out. Because we are coming back. We're going to catch a little bit better fishing conditions. And we're going to get after some sheephead. So uh, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll be right back with another video. And we will catch y'all in the next one. Thanks for joining us.